What is up, you guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. So, Texas politician wants to ban Goblin Slayer books from schools. Now realize that I said I said books, not manga, not anime, books. So you already know where this is kind of going, right? It's very. It, it tends to be very vague. Now, Republican politician Matt Shaheen described the de described Goblin Slayer books as obscene, which should be banned from schools. Now, um, to be fair, Goblin Slayer is very adult. Okay, Goblin Slayer is actually very adult, and uh, yeah, I do agree. It should it should not be in schools. You know, it, it's it's um, you know adult content. It's you know it has to be kept away from the eyes of children. Now he goes on to say, uh, Mash Mashahin describes uh, Demon Slayer as graphic images of women being raped by de by demons, and stated anyone who believes this is this is acceptable is mentally ill. We will be going after the vendors that sold this trash to Texas children, right? Now, again, I just think like a lot of politicians that don't understand, uh, you know, what anime is and manga is, they just kind of just go overboard and think it's like, say, some some satanic shit, right? We've seen it before. The same thing happened with heavy metal back in the 80s and, 80s and 90s. Same old story, right? And in case you don't know, Republicans, Republicans book banning debates is mostly centered around LGBTQ, education and race. And of course... If you watch Goblin Slayer, you know it's not for kids, right? We can all agree, actually. Uh, the problem here is the ignorance of these Republicans, right? And I don't like to talk about politics in this channel, but I'm just trying to explain and get a point around, right? Um, it was never mentioned if it was a light novel or the manga of Goblin Slayer that should be banned. Also, why does it need to be banned? If it's not for kids, then adults should still be should still be able to buy it to buy it right you know like many dark fantasies goblin slayer has themes of has themes and scenes that are adult and hard to watch such as women getting raped blood and gore you get the point what bothers me about politicians criticizing anime is that they never tell the whole story because if they are going to to ban goblin slayer from schools then game of thrones should be banned too after all, it is a it is a dark fantasy with similar scenes, and yes, some parents actually do let their kids read Game of Thrones. Right? Politicians will say anything to get people on their side, and this guy, um, Shaheen, <laughs> the Republican Shaheen, knows that knows that this topic triggers parents. That's why they talk about it. Okay, a lot of Republicans, you know, they they like to go after the parents, you know, getting the parents to vote on things. Right? Uh, remember that time? Do you remember that time when um, when Death Note when Death Note was on the news? Right, this was like 2015, I think. Death Note was on the news, and some kid found the note. You know, the uh, where you write the names in. He found it in the library, and the news made a big deal about it. Said it was satanic and this and that. You know, but they always miss the point on these things. They they never they never like go down. You know, actually try to like figure out what it's about. You know, maybe they don't have time or they simply just don't really freaking care. Right. Uh, this is what politicians, what politicians in the news do when they want to get when they want to get votes on, on something or whatever it is. So they find something that triggers people and then point at it. They got to they got to some they, they need something to blame it on. Right. And this came is anime and manga. Now, uh, Shaheen continues on his argument says that neither gender gender queer which is i guess it's another book that he found that was in children's books which by the way this is this is something that's actually happening you find like books about gender and sexuality in in, in school libraries like this is it's crazy what's happening now so at the same time it's like i can't blame him for being mad because of the times that we're living in you know there there's a certain group of people that are trying to indoctrinate our children and i'm not going to go into that but so gender queer nor demons nor goblin slayer should be in schools he argued that both titles fall under the texas penal code's definition of obscene uh patently obsessive rep uh, representations or descriptions of ultimate ultimate sexual acts 
normal or perverted, actual or sim simulated, including sexual intercourse, sodomy, and sexual bestiality. I agree with Shaheen on preventing pornography in children's schools, but I also think he is just going overboard with this. Um, you know, like, why don't you have somebody actually look at the genre? Because not all manga and anime are the same. You know, he just happened to stumble upon a really naughty one. Anyways, uh, but whatever your thoughts are, uh, make sure to comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And um, thank you for watching, guys. This is Andy Matrix. Godspeed.